Hello YouTube, it's Andy again. I got another tutorial for you and uh, this one's actually going to be, if you haven't figured out from what you're looking at, is Android L. Um, and more specifically the materials layout uh, or the materials theme uh, that replaces Holo. Um, as you can see the action bar is now got a primary color and then now also the status bar has a primary color dark. Um, and that's one that you set uh, specifically in your app. Another thing that I'm using here, because it's the only thing that's actually available right now, is the cards view. Um, this has been achievable before with just setting a background to a view. I'm not really quite sure why they did this, but whatever. It's basically um, a frame layout that has its own uh, set of um, elevation and shadowing. Um, I haven't been able to get the elevation to actually work properly. Um, I don't know if that's just something that they need to update or um, what, but it works like a regular view. You can click it. Um, I haven't been able to get the actual coloring in either that they, that they talk about in IO to, to actually work as well. Um, sorry about the delay in videos. My hard drive crashed on this computer because I abuse it a lot um, to make these uh, YouTube videos. So um, my youngest hard drive on this computer is actually the one that went out the first. So um, let's d dig into what you need to do. First of all, if you're going to um, use Android Studio 0.8.1, you're going to have to completely get rid of uh, 0.6.5. I believe that was the last uh, pre-release. Um, I wasn't able to find a way to actually update it, which on this computer wasn't a big deal because my hard drive died and I had to start from scratch. Uh, but on my other computers, um, it's been fun. Uh, we'll just go with fun. So here's Android Studio. 0.8.1 it's now considered beta and uh, we'll go into our or what we need um, one thing if you're going to use material you need to actually download Java JDK 7 and install that um, on every previous release including um, Android KitKat you could use JDK 6 but now you need 7 um, not really quite sure what's in there that they need that version, but um, that's what I ran into a little bit of an issue. Um, but I had to update the JDK to seven. Okay, so we didn't really, I didn't really do anything in um, the activity, so we can close that. All I do is, if you saw when I you click it, it goes into a new activity. Um, the animation by default is actually from the bottom to, to the top. Um, I can't really show you the status bar on here because for some reason my video card does not like it. See? So we'll just ignore that for now. Okay, and then so uh, I didn't. Okay, here's our view. So this is the card view. It's the only thing that they talk about that's actually available um, right now. The. Uh, recycler view and all the other niceness that's going to be in the support library um, you can't actually use it yet they haven't really patched it to work with Android Studio so uh, in order to get the card view uh, you have to go into your um, build.gradle file and add it manually like this the compile com .android support card view v7 and then um, Plus, we'll import whatever the latest version is. Um, another thing is the min SDK version and target SDK version. They're actually strings and as well as the compile SDK version. Um, along with the update to 0.8.1, you've got new build tools. 20.0.2 uh, is now, or 20.0.0 is now the latest version. Um, you can see what's available now in the SDK manager, um, Android Wear, TV, that was all added. So now you can see, uh, here's the TV, um, 
Here's the regular L preview, so that's the image for that. Here's the where, which runs on KitKat still, so Android 4.4, um, which has its own API level of 20. Um, so does L, and I don't understand why, uh, because in order for you to use it, you actually have to use version 21. I'm guessing they're saving 21 as the actual release version. Um, and maybe having 20 for all the other stuff like auto and where when those get L. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really make, make sense why the API, API is 20. Everything works with 20. And then to actually use it, you have to use, uh, set your um, style in the 21. If you set this to 20, it doesn't work. It says no, it's not, it's too new. Um, so let's talk about how to actually set the, the theme. You have um, your style just like you had on Action Bar, uh, but you're changing it to now material. And uh, all you do is set a primary color and a primary dark color for your basic theming. Um, it's actually supposed to decrease a lot of your um, styles and designing and everything because it's supposed to do all the work for you. Um, so things that should be the primary color are, are set to the primary color automatically and things that are should be the dark are set automatically that you don't actually have to do that yourself. Um, so if we go into those are these two colors up here. Um, another nice thing is that what we got for free are, you know, the icons are changed and um, a lot of things on the action bar, like you see how it, it, um, you have a animation that goes darker from inside to out to know, show you that you're selecting something. And it happens the same if you're using a navigation drawer. That's all done for free. You don't have to do anything for that. All right, and our second activity doesn't have anything. Um, there's nothing you really have to set up in your manifest to get any of this working, which is fantastic. Um, so that's a nice little preview of the... Oh, you don't get your card view, unfortunately, as a preview in um, uh, Android Studio. You can see that if you hover over it, you can see that there's actually a view there but it doesn't highlight it for you in this preview, um, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, I, I can't even get Recycler View to work at all, and um, when you try to import it, it tells you that it, they're working on a fix for it, but it's not currently available. So um, that's it for designing the app. I'm not even gonna post this as an example. It's very basic and all pretty much pre-generated for you. Um, Another thing, let's talk about uh, the L, what I can without having any kind of visual problems. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can see that some of the things are themed appropriately, like this would be your primary dark color. Um, I don't, this might be the primary light, I don't think so. Um, but that's one thing that they you can see that they animated things for you so you can kind of get used to that uh, I was under the impression that this bottom bar here would be the primary dark color as well that's kind of what they show you on the website and uh, at least not in this version of where is our on uh, this version of L it's not there so um, maybe that'll be in a future version uh, I haven't messed with the images for Nexus 7 or Nexus 5 because one, I don't have a Nexus 5 and two, I actually use my Nexus 7 daily so I don't want to mess anything up with that. Um, I haven't noticed any, I, I use the art runtime and none of my apps that I actually use um, are incompatible with it so um, that was nice that I know from a compatibility standpoint that's not going to be an issue. But there will be an, a lot of apps that need to be updated to get the, um, you know, everything working properly, which is why they're releasing the system image now, so you can mess with that and figure out what's wrong and report back to Google or the app developers to say, hey, this is what needs to be fixed. Um, last thing I want to talk about is the settings menu. It's pretty nice looking. Um, 
I believe that this is essentially what they're talking about with their um, um, these are all going to be part of that um, recycler view so you got a lot of good performance out of something for very little coding which is nice because in order to get you know a proper list view with everything working properly um, with icons and text and all that stuff um, it required a, lo a little bit of work and it's nice to, to get that stuff for free there were cheats on how to get it to work but if you didn't do it right you suffered quite a bit on performance um, I believe this turns into a grid view if I rotate it so let's rotate it uh, it's not auto rotating okay but um, I believe on an actual device if you rotate it these turn into grid views which is kind of nice um, you can start developing for L now but don't publish anything because um, they're preview SDKs and likely a lot of that stuff is going to be um, changed in the future which you might have to do some more work so um, save yourself some work and just play with it on the emulator or on your own personal device but don't publish anything with all that stuff active alright have a good day